In a lot of the Southeast Asian factories, farms, and fishing boats exporting products to the US, Europe, and Australia, the workers are foreign nationals. In Thailand, there are over 5 million workers from Myanmar, Cambodia, and Laos. The millions of foreign migrant workers in Malaysia are from Myanmar, Cambodia, Indonesia, the Philippines, and even from farther away South Asian nations such as Nepal and Bangladesh. These workers most often find their way to these workplaces through the involvement of recruiters, sometimes formal registered recruitment agencies and sometimes informal agents or brokers. When factories or farms want to hire foreign workers, they may apply directly to their country's Ministry of Labor for workers through a government-to-government -government channel, or more often, they may contact an agent to help them with that process. On the origin side, formal recruitment agencies with permission to send workers overseas are often located only in the capital, so informal brokers may apply the countryside seeking job seekers to connect with the recruitment agencies. It has been well documented that much of the labor exploitation and risk in global supply chains has its roots in this recruitment process and these middlemen who bridge job seekers in origin countries with businesses requiring workers in destination countries. And over the past year, ITSRA Institute and an innovative network of 18 Burmese grassroots civil society partners, 800 Golden Dreams ambassadors, who are mostly job seekers and return migrants across the countryside, progressive recruitment agencies and employers in Myanmar, Thailand, and global brands and retailers have been working to pinpoint and reduce these risks. ตาลีตาลีกูมันชื่อเลยค่ะจะเปลี่ยนมาเลยเปลี่ยนมาไปแล้วดูดิอาจจะเข้าเปลี่ยนทั่วเลยเปลี่ยนทั่วก็มาบ
ကျွန်တော်တို့ဒီစာချုပ်ချုပ်တော်တော်မှာပွဲသားတွေကလေးဟိုစစ်ဟိုချစ်တိန်းခုနှစ်တိန်းပွဲလားချစ်တိန်း
it's, it's quite a new area for us. It isn't something that we, we discover easily through social audit. Um, I guess the Modern Slavery Act in the UK was, was the thing that brought ethical recruitment um, into focus for us. Um, we decided that it was a very high risk area within our supply chain and um, we made a conscious decision based on our risk analysis to investigate what was really happening, especially regarding migrant workers within our supply chain. Working with Azar on the ground has, has given us great opportunity to really understand um, the recruitment process, especially cross-border. Um, the Azara Institute has, has provided us with, with not only a, a high degree of capability, but on the ground opportunities to, to talk and discuss um, the recruitment process, not only with our suppliers, but also recruitment agents in Myanmar, which we would not have had the, the capability or the initiative to do on our own. Um, lots of barriers, um, language barriers, but, but also it, it's an area way beyond what we're used to dealing with um, as a brand, working really purely with, with our contracted supply chain. So this has really broadened our understanding of, of the issues um, and the challenges facing ethical recruitment. So I would really encourage all brands, all retailers to to look at supply chains where they have migrant workers, especially foreign migrant workers, and to start really unpacking the issues and discussing it with local experts on the ground. All brands, all retailers. Don't come on, I'll